okay, performance and efficiency test of an air conditioning plant. For air conditioning system, this is the lecture Monataya. Air conditioning is one of the essential techniques employed to provide human comfort as well as to generate favorable conditions for industrial, agricultural, and biological processes. The central air conditioning plants or the system are used when large buildings, hotels, theaters, airports, shopping malls, etc. are to be air conditioned. Completely. The window and the street air conditioning are used for single rooms or small offices, office spaces. If the whole building is to be cooled, it is not economically viable to put window or split air conditioner in its and every room. Economical, not economical. Further, this small unit cannot satisfactorily cool the large halls, auditorium reception areas, etc. So, need talaga yung centralized kung malalaki. Kasi nga, yung mga split na nasa gilid lang yan. O masyadong maal pag nagkano ka ng mga silikot na kaset. Marami. So, mas tipid yung centralized kasi yung dadakting mo lang. Dadakting lang ang may cost. Pero yung distribution is okay. It is fun. Sorry. And, and the central air conditioning system there is a plant room where the large compressor, condenser, thermostat, expansion valve, and the evaporator are kept in the large plant room. They perform all the functions as usual, similar to a typical refrigeration system. So, however, all parts are larger in size and have higher capacities. The compressor is of open reciprocating type with multiple cylinders and is cooled by the water just like the automobile engine. The evaporator and the condenser are of shell and tube type, while in the small air conditioning system, capillary is used as the expansion valve. In the central air conditioning system, thermostatic expansion valve is used. Okay, much. So the chill is passed by a duct to all the room. Chill, yan hangin yan ay yung hangin, pinalamig rooms, halls, and other spaces that are to be air conditioned. Thus, in all the rooms, there is only one duct passing the chilled air, and there are no individual cooling coils. And other parts of the reproduction system and the rooms. What we, what is we get in its room is the completely silent and highly effective air conditioned system in the room. So further, the amount of chilled air that is needed in the room can be controlled by the OPH depending on the total heat load inside the room. So mga types niya, and meron tayo direct expansion type, DX, of air conditioning plant system. Alam mo yan kasi yung water yung may tumulong. So dito, direct expansion. So sa direct expansion, andito sa coil mo, sa portal coil mo, tuwapasok yan yung refrigerant. So sa refrigeration niya na yung mga types of refrigerant na. So dito, pag the chill water, so dito chill water mo pasok dyan. So dito yung evaporator mo ng system. So pag direct expansion, nandito yung evaporator mo. Okay, direct back. So in the direct expansion or DX type, uh, air central, air conditioning plant in the air used for cooling space is directly chilled by the refrigerant in the cooling coil of hand, the air handling unit. Dito na umpisa yung nausa yung mga, mga, mga tawag-tawag ko ba? Ang direct expansion dapat di ipi ginawa X. Yan. Kaya yung X mass dito. Doon ang umpisa lahat niya. Sabi na yun. 
mga tawag-tawag shortcut ngayon. Since the air cooled directly by the refrigerant, the cooling capacity of the DX plant is higher. At the refrigerant, the cooling efficiency of the DX plant is higher. So, wala siya piping loss. Direct na ito. Piping loss na operator na magkukonek. However, it is not always feasible to carry the refrigerant piping to the large distances. Hence, direct expansion of the type of central air conditioning system is usually used for cooling the small buildings or the rooms on the single floor. Kaya natin sa Pag malalaki, so chilled water ka. Kasi yung refrigerant po ay gas. Liquid in gas. So, hindi pwede masyadong malayo yung distansya. So, chilled water, so pwede ipapagpo lang yun. So, there are three main compartments of the X type of super air conditioning. So, first of all, configure. Then, tayo yung air condition room, yung machine room. Ito. Then, the compressor room. Dito tawag ito yung compressor and condenser. Sometimes, itong condenser naman, iniwala ito, ang dito. Ang mga tawag dyan, pag ito, compressor lang, yung condenser mo sa taas. So, wala kang cooling tower. At ang tawag doon, air-cooled condenser. Okay? So, pag water-cooled, so ito, cooling tower, water-cooled ito. Okay? Water-cooled uh, system. Uh, meron siyang cooling tower sa ka condenser. Tapos si papapo doon. So, ito magpapalamig yung tubig. So, sa cooling tower, magpapalamig naman yung ambient mo. Tapos, yung isa, wala ay condenser dito, nakalagay doon, tawag doon, air cold condenser. So, dito, compressor unit. Ito, ang tawag dito sa buong to is condensing unit. Okay? Or, pag ando naman sa taas, condensing unit din yun, air cold condensing unit. So, ito, water cold condensing unit. Compressor and condenser. Kasama na yung system na operator, so dapat, System na yung air handling unit kasama na yung tank. Okay. Ito yung mga tawag-tawag. Ito tayo nyo. Doon naman lahat yung mga yung parts. Now, the plant room. So, ito. Ayan ito pala yung return. Okay lang yan. Ayan ito. Pasok na lang siya. Yung iba din ang ducting para sigurado yung losses ma-contain na yung pangawasan. Ito may no stop. Kasi so, yung init ng gong pop na sa pahid dyan. So, yung iba, sinapit yung director ng duct dito. Yung ang panay. Para magkatipid, ginagawa na ganyan. So yung kaso yung coil, tataas yung capacity. Required capacity niya. Okay. So the plant room comprises of the important parts of the refrigeration system, the compressor and the condenser. Compressor can be either semi hermetically sealed or open type. The semi hermetically sealed compressor are cooled by the air, which is blown by the pan. While open type compressor is water cooled. The open compressor can be directly driven by the motor shaft, by coupling, or by the vent via fully aligned. Next, the condenser. The condenser is of shell and tube type, it is cooled by the water. The refrigerant flows along the tube side of the condenser and water along the chill side, which enables faster cooling of the refrigerant. The water is used is for cooling the compressor and the condenser is cooled in the cooling tower kept at the top of the plant room, though it can be kept at other convenient locations also. Tignan na lang yung figure. Kasi pa nag ko ng mouse, Futuro, lumalapit ako. Kaya aso, simple yung pag-ano, magkakawa ko ng time. So, tingin nyo na lang. So, figure kayo mag-ano. Sa plate. So, the air handling unit room. Andiyan, nakalagay naman AHC room. The refrigerant leaving the condenser and the plant room enters the thermostatic expansion valve. And then the air handling unit, which is kept in a separate room. The air handling unit is a large back type 
of unit that comprises the evaporator on the cooling coil, air filter, and the large power. Pagkasama na yung mga ano, condenser sa isang init, pero kasi niya buo, kompleto na. Ano ang mga air-cooled, tawag ka doon is package. Pinauna, package sa system. So dito, ang nakalagay lang is air handling unit. So isang pan, isang evaporator, filter, tapos yung mga blower niya. After leaving the thermostat expansion valve, the refrigerant enters the cooling coil where it cools the air that enters the room to be a condition. The evaporator and the air handling unit of the direct expansion center air conditioning system is of coil type covered with the pins to increase the heat transfer efficiency from the refrigerant to the air. So, yeah. Check your line number and line yet. It's a plug in code or something. Copy paste ng mga kalagay sa dito. So there are two types of ducts connected to the hot air, to the air handling units. For absorbing the hot return air from the rooms and for sending the chilled water to the rooms to be air conditioned. So now return and then supply. Mostly, yung return, ito. Makikita nyo sa figure, ang supply niya, ductile, kasi parang makonsentrate ng distribution. At is part of my role kasi yan eh. Dapat lahat ng ano. Ito, isang room lang. So pag tapos, ang return niya, kasi isang room lang siya, hindi na siya maglalagay ng return lang. Open na lang. Ito, ang kasawag dito, is selling plenum. So papalsa ko lang yan. Doon. Ito naman, plenum na rin ito yan. Normally, ang talagang mas efficient is yung ilalakot sa kaya at ilalakot sa kaya. So, while yung ducting, saka mag-proportion yung space sa ceiling, so ang iba, ang ginagawa is ceiling retard. So, consider mo lang yung mga heat loss dito. Heat gain niya. Heat gain dito. Sa papat, pupunta sa akin. Pero pag maraming room, so, check mo yung ceiling kung open. Hindi open, may mga yung wall niya sa narato. So, kailangan mo na ang return ducting. Okay? So, ang pag-competent mo doon is yung duct size plus yung return yung total static pressure na supply pressure na plus the return pressure na. Okay? So, the blower of the air handling unit enables absorbing the hot return air that has absorbed the heat from the room via the duct. The air is then passed through the filter and then over the cooling coil. The blower then passes the chilled air to the duct, to the rooms that are to be air conditions. So, ito, pinapakita is the isang blower, a pan. Sa iba, dalawa yan. Sa rin, meron siya tawag na return blower. Yan, supply blower yan. Pag nalikwa yung return blower, pag hindi kaya na pan, na supply pan yung pressure na, total pressure na. Okay? So, kinukumpit yun. Hindi pwede mong lagay ka ng isa o kaya yung pala di kaya. Kung mag-return na ka, so kailangan mo na return blower. Minsan, hindi na kung kaya naman na ano mo, supply pan. Kaya yan. Ang pressure na kasi. Pwede ka na isa, lumalaki yung ano. Malaki na ng power mo. Kasi o yung motor, hindi na ka sa loob. So, ginagawa nila. Ginagawa is series. So, the DX expansion system runs more efficiently at higher loads. Even in case of breakdown of the plant. The other plants can be used for the cooling purpose. The DX types of central air conditioning plants are less popular than the chilled water type of central air conditioning, air conditioning system. Kasi pag malalaki na, mahal na yung DX plan. So later yung chilled water air conditioning group. This, this is the space that is actually to be actually cooled. Yeah. 
It can be residential room, room of the hotel, part of the office, or any other suitable application. The ducks from the air handling unit are passed to all rooms. Not hard to be cool. The ducks are connected to the grills or diffusers. Normally, ang nakikita mo is the diffusers. So, parang yung mga siya, curb na opening. Pag straight line yun, tawag yung grills. Pag may curb, tawag yung diffusers. It's the diffuse niya. So, uh, that supply to the chilled air to the room. The air absorbs the heat and gets heated and it passes to another set of grills and into the return air duct that ends into the air handling unit room. So, the number of these grills is your return air grill. Yeah. Or the two cells. Normally, we use this is return air grill. Okay. It's not the two cells. So, then you check your pressure drop. This air is then recirculated by the air handling unit. Sa return grill kasi, mas apay sa po yung grills kasi madali linisin. Yung supply air diffuser, sa supply, ano yun, ang mas nabis naman ng diffuser kasi na distribute niya. Pero four-way, two-way, yan. Though the efficiency of the DX plant is higher, the air handling units and refrigerated piping cannot be kept at very long distance since there will be a lot of drop in pressure of refrigerant along the way and there will also be cooling losses. Further, for the long piping, large amount of refrigerant will be needed, which makes the system very expensive and also prone to the instance problems like the leakage of the refrigerant. This is poisonous. So, yan. So, prone to the many instance problem like the leakage of the refrigerant. So, it could fill kasi sa leakage kilang percent yan or amount of environmental. So, mayroon naman ang estimate yan or detail. Now, due to this research, the DX type central air conditioning system are used for a small air conditioning systems of about 5 to 15 tons as centralized in this small building or the number of rooms on a single floor. If there are large air conditioning loads, then multiple direct expansion systems can be installed. There are technique. Then in such cases, when there is lesser heat load, one of the plants can be shut out and the other can land at full load. So, this is a multiple. So, for 30 tons, it's about 15. For the safety of the design. It's a good design. Because it's a good design. 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 Yung iba, isa lang para makatipid. So, baka ma problema, makuha ka na, permit to operate, kasi na, nasa ano ka na, uh, pasok ka na sa apartments. Kaya kung ayaw mo, katiin mo. Kasi pinag-usapan dito yung unit. Hindi yung total na ina-apply mo. Sa so, iba, Pag nabing is yung gasolina, nabing yung tanki, yung bawa, yung total na mo sa kanila. Now, the chilled water air central air conditioning system. So, ito naman tayo. So, applicable to sa multiple, sa mga laki yung system. So, tinan yung figure, this is the central air conditioning system, chilled water system. So, sa ibang lugar, they require yung elevation. Meron yung architect, bibigyan ka na elevation ng building nila. So, dito may papasok yung mga unit. So, kaya meron. So, plano mo meron ka dito. Ayan. So, yung piping, ito yung papasok sa 
Dice, pues por esto el sacólico, el pago de acólico, el sistema. Supply and return. No, to chill water. Supply more. To supply pump. Dito na sa baba. Tapos ang return mo is sa taas. Return piping plus a piping. Yan. So para yung water mo magpuno mo na siya. May awas sa coil. Yung plato mo, napupuno siya bago siya magpunta. Tapos ang kapag mag-exit. Pag sa taas kasi, may gravity. So, may mga parts na hindi tatamaan. Tubig. Kasi di diretso na sa pagkata. Kaya, normal niya is mataas. Tapos, check niya yung mga accessories na pwede sa kilwata pa lang niya. Na, pang-full system. So, ito yung return na pag-selected. Tapos, allowed to. Tapos, ito naman, press air with damper. Kasi nakakontrol yan. Lahat ng air condition meron tayong ventilation required. So, dito yung papasok. So, ito yung room mo. Ito na yung maliit pleno mo. Papi yan. So, dito ka. So, papasok dito yung special mo. Most effective yan is yung iladak mo yan. Kung patatang iladak mo rin yan. Paano yung kita niya? So, ito kasi sa book mo. Pero, yun na-apply dito. Nalasan sa iba, makikita nyo, ito puro ducting sa mga uh, mall, department store, isa, isa lang airport na para sa isang department store, isang group. Tapos makikita nyo yung dito nandito, yan, papasok sa isang dito. Dito sa so, the chilled water types of airport na sinig. Central Air Conditioning Plants are installed in the place where cool, large buildings, shopping mall, airports, hotel, etc. comprising of several blocks are to be air conditioned. While in the direct expansion type of central air conditioning plants, the refrigerant is directly used to cool the air. In the chilled water plants, the refrigerant first chills the air water, which in turn chills the water room air. Now, in chilled water plants, the ordinary water or brine solution, kasi meron ipang nag-cycle, is chilled to very low temperature at about 6 to 8 degrees Celsius by the refrigeration plant. Sixth, ang ano niyan is 44 Fahrenheit. Yeah. 44 to 54 Fahrenheit. Uh, 44, 54 Fahrenheit is 12 Celsius. So, pwede yan. So, 10 degrees Delta Fahrenheit, Delta T. And change. Uh, ito pala is yung entering 6 to 8 degrees Celsius. Kaya niya. This chilled water is pumped to various floors of the building in its different parts. In each of these parts, these parts the air handling units are installed. Yeah, dapat every building meron tayo mechanical room or the HC room. So the chilled, which comprise, in its part of the air, which comprise of the cooling coil, blower, and the duct. The chain water flows to the cooling coil. The blower absorbs it on air from air conditioning room that are to be cooled by a duct. The, this air passes over the cooling coil and gets cooled and is then passed to the air conditioned space. So, this is the diagram. So, ito yung cooling tower. Chiller, straight out the low water system. Mayroong heating, mayroong cooling, kaya tayo may boiler. So, mayroong tayo na hot water. Isang kasi, malas sa barla, may kailangan mo na heating sa room. So, kailangan mo hot water, heat up the lower side. So, supply mo, nainit, saan mo na kami. 
energy management system, ito yung control system mo. May yung iba na papuno sa control system, sumusunod na ito sa contact. Mga mechanical engineer, pero mas paganda pa rin na sa design. Dito ang pilag na sales cap na nga lang ng isang control system. Kung pa nag-design, hindi ka makapili pa ka doon mo niyang kahit sa plano kasi hindi ka dito sa atin kailangan kung meron na yung electronics ECE. Yun ang gusto nila. Agreement. Hindi yun namin pinapakilaman yung mga control system na yun. Sa ibang bansa, kailangan mo malaman yan kasi ibigay sa nila. Pilipinas lang ito. So dito, may pump. Punta to sa mga dito, air handler. Kung uling tawag dito yun, Tapos, yung chain water po 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 na rin sa mga air handler, po po sa lock. Ito naman mga sa diffuser, sa kita niya ibang klase diffuser niya, outside sa side niya. Yung terminal unit, nandito yung variable ng ano, flow, na volume, KB box. Siya na technology nga ng variable air volume, so, hindi natin i-discuss to. Discuss na natin sa ibang subject. Dito lang tayo sa ano, normal, yung mga diffuser. Constant na tayo. So, ito ang sinasabi ng outside air intake. Centralize niya, so basok dito sa ano, ito yung fresh air. Kung ayaw mo ng ganyan, ito naman is wall na, pwede pumasok, pwede pumunta, so pwede ka na dumirin siya dyan. Diba? May access ka naman dito, huwag ka naman pumunta na nanda kasi yung ano mo, Tracting cost mo, nagdadagdag pa. So dito, diritso mo na siya dito. Tapos ito yung return. So pwede mo siya i-connect dito sa likod, sa side. Basta allowed. So, example ng layout. So, various parts of chilled water air conditioning plant. All the important parts of chilled water air handling plant are shown in the figure. So, central air conditioning plant, saan dyan? So, saan? The plant room comprises of all the important components of chilled water air conditioning plant. This includes the compressor, condenser, thermostatic expansion valve, and the evaporators or the chilled the chiller. The compressor is open type and can be driven by the motor directly or by the valve via pulley arrangement connected to the motor. It is cooled by the water just like the automotive engine. The condenser and evaporator are of shell and tube type. The condenser is cooled by the water with water flowing along the side and the refrigerant along the tube. The thermostatic expansion valve is operated automatically by the cylinder valve. The evaporator is also called chiller because it chills the water. If the water flows along the shell side and the refrigerant on the tube side, it is called the dry expansion type of chiller. In the terms, if the water flows along the shell side and the refrigerant on the tube side, it is called the dry type expansion, dry expansion type of chiller. If the water flows along tube side and the refrigerant along the shell side, it is called the flooded chiller. Panagsapalutan siya ng refrigerant yung tubo. The water chilled in the chiller is pumped to the to various parts of the building that are to be air conditioned. It enters the air handling unit, cools the air and cooling coil. So ang tawag doon sa inoob is cooling coil. Hindi na evaporate doon. Ipapuito mo kasi ang doon sa chiller. All chiller. Absorbs the heat and returns back to the plant room to be chilled again. The amount of water passing into the chiller is controlled by the flow switch. Water flow switch. In the central air conditioning tank, yung iba hindi po, kasi may ba yung sa yung mga controller. Variable na ko mamarami. Normal na ito which is pag on off that is flow switch. Pag may flow, o 
pensar. Ako la, siya mo mag-o-o. In the central air conditioning plant room, all the components of the compressor, condenser, and thermostatic expansion valve and the chiris are assembled in the structural steel framework, making a complete plant, making a complete compact refrigeration plant known as the chiller package. Piping required to connect this part is also enclosed, enclosed in this unit, making a highly compact central air conditioning plant. The air handling unit's room. Yeah, marami. The air handling units are installed in the various parts of the building that are to be air conditioned and the place called air handling units room. The air handling units comprise of the collector, air filter, the boiler, and the supply and return air ducts. The chilled butter flows to the cooling coil. The blower absorbs the return hot air from the air conditioned space and blows on over the cooling coil, thus cooling the air. This cooled air passes over the air filter and is passed by the supply air duct and the space which is to be air conditioned. The air handling unit and the ducts passing through it are insulated to reduce the cooling effect. Air conditioned rooms. These are the rooms or the spaces that are to be air conditioned. This can be residential or hotel rooms, halls, shops, offices, complete theater, various parts of the airport, etc. At the, at the top of this room, the supply and return air duct are laid. The supply air duct supply the cool air to the room via one set of the fusers, while the return air duct absorbs the hot air from the room by another set of the fusers. Ito yung return fuse. Return air diffuser. The hot return air enters the air handling unit, gets cooled, and again enters the room by a supply duct to produce air conditioning effect. Hot return air, hindi naman siya yung mainit na mainit na yung sa kape, hindi yun. Sabihin, comparison lang ng, ng lamig ng, sa malamig na room. Diba? Normal, ito yung normal na. Mawag lang hot kasi yung sa loob is cold. Pinalamig mong hangin. Para siya lang yan sa dalawa. Parang sa plumbing, may makita sa plan, cold water distribution. So, hindi yan yung malamig na tubig na may ilo. Eh, hindi siya yun lang siya. Masabi, hindi siya ano, iniwalay lang siya sa hot and cold na system. Pero hindi talaga hot na may ilo. Ba yun? Sa mga ano na yun? Sa mga pagluluto na yun. So, meron din ha talaga yung hot water. Ba nung clean water, so normal water. Meron namang hot water. Yung galing sa boiler. Cooling tower. The cooling tower is used to cool the water that absorbs heat from the compressor and the condenser. Yan. Pagka sa compressor, kasi yung compressor mo may init yan. So, kasi mayroong wag pa mag jacket dyan. So, cooling jacket. So, yung pupunta rin sa cooling tower. When the condenser, alam yun na. When the water flows to this component, some water gets evaporated. To make up this loss, some water is added in the cooling tower. So, later, kasama ng topic, yung cooling tower calculation. Here, the water is cooled by the atmospheric air and is circulated through the compressor at the condenser. Okay, so yun yung description ng dalawang type, direct expansion sa chilled water sa so air conditioning system. So para bago kayo mag sa actual field ng testing, so alam yung mga parts. Yun muna. So, testing and balancing, so hindi ko sa naman dito sa mga obos yung oras. So may wala naman tayong mga reference doon. This map na Testing and balancing of air conditioning system. Pagkira naman ng balance dito. Kung nilipar lang, kung umingit kung sa maliit mo lang design. Doon na, problema doon na yun ang babalance. Kasi mahirap sabihin na ayun, kaya napalitan mo yan. Sinong gagastos? Dapat, sa design pa lang, tama na. 
para pagkatin ng testing, siya nagmagpapalas. So, kunin mo lang naman yung mga flow rates na nasa design. Two numbers. So, dito tayo sa mga calculations kasi kailangan, kailangan ito sa board exam. So, sensible heat load is the heat load due to the change of temperature in the condition space. Diba? So, the sensible heat load equation is Q is equal to Fs times Cp times Tr minus Ts where Qs is the sensible heat load. M sub S is the mass flow rate of the supply air kilogram per second. Cp is the specific heat of moist air at first temperature. Ayan, 1.02 kilojoule per kilogram per minute. Hindi 1.0. So, T sub 1 is the condition of temperature. T sub S is the temperature of supply air. Ayan. At testing, makukuha mo yung temperature. In and out, kamitan mo ng gauge o sensor. Then, mass flow rate, makukuha mo yun sa velocity, density. Makukuha mo yung mass. So, yung heat load, makukuha mo na. Latent heat load. So, latent heat load is the heat load of the condition room due to change in the vegetative ratio. UL is equal to 2501 M sub F times sample UR minus sample US. Well, QL is equal to latent heat load, kilowatt. M sub S is equal to mass flow rate of supply air. WL is the vegetative ratio of inside air, kilogram per kilogram. WS is the vegetative ratio of supply air. So, this equation is... Uh, huwag nyo masyadong gagamitin. Okay? Binigay pa ngayon yung equation. This is ano, 2501 kasi. Maraming value yan. Okay? So, kaya pag nag-solve ka dito ng QL, pag meron, pag meron kang value yung sensible, saka total, yun ang gamitin mo. Pagkuha na ang MS. Ito kasi estimate lang yan. Tingnan mo, hindi magbabalas ng QL is equal to Q, Q minus QS. Q yung total. Ayan, so, QT. Hindi yan magbabalance. The total heat load is the sum of sensible heat load and latent heat load of the vision room. So, the total heat load equation is QT is equal to MS times N sub R minus N sub S. So, ayan. Ang unit niya. And LP. So, hindi ito magbabalance. Kaya, kung gusto mo, makuha yung exact ng MS meron kang QL ng value ni Q ka. So, so, Q minus QL is QS. So, solve for MS. Dito sa gamit niya. I-double check mo sa enthalpy na makukuha mo parehas. Pero pag ito ginamit mo, yung given na QL, hindi siya magpaparehas. Kasi nga, hindi ito isang. Okay? So, pag wala kang ibang data, ito lang. Ito approximation. So, kaya hindi ko pinag-aampang ito pag meron ka QL, QS. Pag meron ka nun ng Q, total, saka QL, kung yan ang given, i-minus mo, kukuha mo yun. Kasi kung mag-intelty ka, punta ka pa sa nag-gometric chart. So, ito na lang gamitin mo. Ang given kang total heat load minus the sensible heat load is equal to, ah, oh, minus dito, Latent heat is the sensible heat load. So, masasolve mo yung MS using this. Tapos, pag chinek mo, using psychometric chart, pares ang makukuha mo. Kung tama ang basa mo sa psychometric chart, ha? So, tama ang basa mo sa psychometric chart, makukuha mo to using this. Yung value ng total, divide mo na kaya si mas. Kaya sa nakuha mo sa psychometric chart, kasi yan ang value mo. Magpaparehas sa dito. Okay? Approximate. So, ito, minsan malayo. Pag-sol po MS. Dapat magtali yung tablo. So, double check mo siya. So, ito, bayaan mo na kasi yung constant na yan. So, now, the sensible heat ratio, SSR. Sensible heat ratio, SSR is the ratio of the sensible heat load to the total heat load. So, yung reference ko pala ito is yung EJB Francisco. Kaya hindi ko binigay sa Q na hindi ko ng copy kasi baka gamitin nyo yung main of those yung pinagbawal ko na pang na formula. Yung may 6 point ano yan. So, dry valve, wet valve. So, kasi yun nga, ganun din. Maraming value yung constant load. So, kaya nasusurkat yung ano, 
lo sumé a cero. So, search nyo na lang. Kaya hindi pa binibigyan ng sub copy lang. So, nakagamitin nyo, binibigyan nyo sa amin sir. Ayaw nyo lang magamit. Ano nangyari na? Ikaw baga siya nagtaw sa aming formula. Ngayon, hindi ko nang binibigyan. So, sa simulit ratio, SSR is the ratio of sensible heat load to the isotopic heat load. SSR is equal to QS over QP is equal to QS over QS plus QL is equal to CP times T sub R minus T sub S over S sub R minus S sub S is equal to 1.02 times T sub R minus T sub S over S sub R minus S sub S. So, hindi na ang buka rin ang author. So, lahat ng libro kahit US ang author, Pinoy, Indiano, double check nyo yung mga nini-discuss nila. Kasi may mga iba doon, may mga mali din. Sa mga Indian books din, makita nyo yung mga example nila. Maraming may ako. Maganda nga yun kasi maraming example. So, may example, huwag nyo na kopyahin ang kopyahin ng solusyon. Double check nyo kung tama yun. Tapos, yung calculation. Okay, hanggang mali pa. Kasi hindi naman yun ang gagawin ng kotor sa so, solusyon ng mga estudyante niya siguro pinukuha niya kaya lagay niya isang kondo hindi niya na na-i-edit sa Pilipin auto naman mayroon may mga error doon kaya nang sumasang isa na napansin ko error doon kaya nang test ng genetic cell ano niya nang ko mali niya nasa libro pa sa test picture niya yung mga sang isa ito ni basta yung isa about the supply wheel. Yeah. Sabihin ko lang yung supply wheel ko. May lecture siya. Pagkat yung resolution niya, iba naman yung box. Okay. So, ito yung mga methods of handling. Ito ba yung mga equation to ah. Methods of handling supply air to condition room. So, meron tayong una, 100% outdoor supply air, no recirculation. So, ito yung mga Outdoor ay wala ko. Ano yung flow yan? Ganun yung pumapasok sa mga susto. Malaki yung ito. Oh. Ito yung CDA cooling and the humidifying apparatus. May heater. Kailangan. Supply pan. Kasi kailangan. Kung yung losses niya, may losses niya, may heat. Heat. Then, room, then, so, then, 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 Sa hospital, ginagamit ko. Ito yung ngayon, pandemic, kailangan na tapon. Sa mga hospital talaga tapon. Kasi yung apoy, So, hindi yung pwedeng recirculate niya. Okay, 100% outdoor. Kaya mag-gastos yung exec iba. Gumagawa ng parapanan pag ma-editor, pero may filter. Okay? So, ito. So, the, the use of 100% outdoor air with no recirculation is an economical unless conditions are close to the inside conditions. Particularly in temperature and humidity. Di. Masyadong main sa labas, so hindi na talaga ito ng Amerikan. Ang laki ng papalapit ito. Pero kung sa Baguio, limbawa, ito po, ting difference na lang, pwede ka nito para mamintay lang yung sabo, malapit lang sa mayroon sa outdoor air, so maliit na cooling po. This method is usually used for conditioned spaces where in processing of materials with objectionable odor is being done. Ito po, hospital nga, di ba? The use of the circulated air is impractical. Pinabalik mo yung amoy. Yung kasa CR, gusto mo yung air ko, tapon mo agad. Kung muna is the circulated air, isama doon sa building. Building and conditioning. Kaya nga hindi yun in the air ko. Kaya nga in the air ko, sa sarili, sa tapon, exhaust lang. Kung muna yung recirculate. Kasi yung amoy, papasok doon sa all area, bawa. So, ito yun ang sacramentic chart. As 100% for 100% efficient cooling coil, cooling and humidifying coil, 1 to 2. 100% efficient at the DTC saturated. And 3, and 4. May hita. And, nalabas na sa dyan, pagkas na sa 4. So, meron pa itong usog-usog dito po. Mag-sirin po na yung pan. Okay. Magiging M to 4. Ito naman sa chromatic diagram. 
CDH na to health percent so meron na hindi ko yan at the bottom pa up to two points so dito sa sasagad doon yan so yung mga drawing nyo copy ng copy ng drawing yung sulo sa tipa naman okay at saka ito is straight line to ayan tumatama yan tumatapid tumatama itong mga dot na yan straight points na hindi yung nag cross yung ano dyan intersect yung bilog mo andito sa ibang lugar so that is mali so the formula CDA refrigerated capacity is QCDA is equal to F times H sub 1 minus H sub 2 vehicle capacity is QRS is equal to M times H sub 3 minus H sub 2 where CDA is the CDA capacity is either tons or kilowatt so convert mo na lang Vehicle capacity is a kilowatt. M is the mass flow rate of supply air, kilogram per second. H sub 1 is enthalpy of outdoor air. H sub 2 is equal to enthalpy of air leaving the CDA. H sub 3 is enthalpy of air leaving the Regina. So considering now ang effect yung 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. May lang po, wala ka nito sa block solution nyo. Kung meron, walang problema. Ang important ito, tumatama doon sa nangaragay ng value. Okay? So, ito, straight. So, may iba kasi dyan na titik ko. Iba naman yung value. Iba naman sa drawing. Malayo na. So, next is the methods of air handling. Uh, so, ito naman. Supply air. Mixture of outdoor air and circulated air. So, yung ordinary air conditioning. So, yan. Mixture of outdoor air and recirculated air. So, recirculate mo, make source of outdoor air. Saan ito napupunta yung outdoor air? Bakit ka nagdagdag? Kasi in-exhaust mo doon. Mga in-exhaust mo, yun yung outdoor mo. Okay, make up. Ventilation. Minimum yun is yung ventilation. Makaya nga ka. Ang tawag doon, breathing requirements plus yung mga doses niya. So, ito naman yung ano niya, yung psychometric diagram. So, and the circulating part of the air is more economical than using a lot of air. As the temperature of the recirculated air is usually more favorable than of outside air. And the ordinary conditioner, the air must be cooled to a relatively low temperature to condense the surplus humidity. When this, and when this temperature is too low for comfortable delivery to the condition space, some reheating of the humidified air is necessary. So, purpose of reheating is to increase the humidity. Diba? Andiyan yung mga humidity to 100%. Ito, 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 ito. Ay, to reduce. To reduce the humidity. Yan, yan, yan. So, pag nirehit mo siya, so, mababa yung humidity per uh, percent, uh, RS mo, relative humidity. So, ito tabi yung pergamentic diagram. So, from 1 to 5, nag-mix. Diba tayo, zero. So, dito tayo, one naman. Eh, Masana ka ba ibang numero? Bilang niya. So, one, five. Nag-mix niya. Then, punta sa three. After ng cooling and dehumidification. Cooling, dehumidification. Then, reheat. Then, itong area eh, kung four to five, ito yung room mo. Diba na function ng room mo? Ha? Lamig. So, yan. Out to five, then what we mix. Ito tabi sa mixing. Straight line ang one to five. Tapos kuko akan ng tapos yung ilang kung apart yan is yuto na mix output at dito hit balance, di ba? Tapos ito is condition line. So dapat dito is straight. Kaya yung mga nangungup nila, sinto ito pagano. Ay, inagay ko sa drawing yun noon, di ba, in straight ko. Dali naman, may example naman tayo na ito. Na libro meron. So, lecture meron. Ang problema lang, hindi naman tumitingin ng lecture ko na tumitingin sa solusyon ko. So, super ko. Okay, resume. Uh, yan na nga. Ito yung mga ano niya. So, ito naman, okay yan. 
형님은 이제 되겠지요? 그래서 내 고백들은 나쁘지 마요. 자, 폴미나, CDA capacity alone is QCD is equal to M2 times H2 minus S3. 나라가 있는 디테일 M2, 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 M2
Ang ito ang sinasabi natin, hindi it return doon sa CDA, calling ko, but it return na galing sa room. Then, M sub is equal to M sub S as QS over 1.02 times this B4 minus B3. So, yan. Well, Q sub S is the wrong sensible heat load. B sub VR and B sub B4 is the driver temperature inside the room condition. And DB3 is equal to DB3. Uh, DBS is the dry bulb temperature of supply air. M sub S is equal to M sub P is the mass flow rate of supply air kilogram per second. Ito yung mga temperature in this of SI units. Now, if the bypass factor PFA of the CDA is considered, so M sub Q sub S is equal to 1.02 MS, that's 1 minus bypass factor, that's DB4 minus RADP. So, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. M sub S is equal to M sub T is equal to Q sub S over 1.02 times 1 minus bypass factor times DB4 minus RAD. So, equating the bypass factor is equal to DB3 minus RADP over DB4 minus RADP. Now for CDA contact factor. So the contact factor is 1 minus the bypass factor. Bypass hindi ko mo, hindi. Kasi nga, bypass hindi naka-contact. Yung contact hindi naka-bypass. Kaya lang yan, di ba? And DB, bakit nyo pala po, ano yung bypass factor, saka contact factor. Bypass factor hindi naka-contact. Yung contact factor, hindi, yung hindi naka-bypass. So, DB4 minus DB3 over DB4 minus RADP. So, also, CF is equal to DB2 minus DB3 over DB2 minus ADP. Where PFP is equal to 1 minus CF is equal to DB3 minus ADP over DB2 minus ADP. CF is the contact factor. ADP is the parathas dew point temperature of CDA. DB sub 2 is the temperature of air entering the CDA. And DB sub 3 is the temperature of air leaving the CDA, which is equal to the temperature of supply air. 